Hi, this is Lindsay, and welcome back to my channel. I have one of my grab bags custom order to share with you today. And um, in case you haven't heard about these before, in my shop I offer a junk journal grab bag. It's $50 worth of journals, could be any sizes. Pretty much I just use up my scraps and come up with a variety of um, journals. It's equal to $50, but it only costs you $40. So I have a couple of custom orders right now for grab bags. So this one is for Debbie, in case there's any question there. And so I'll just show you what I put together quickly. Um, the largest one here is five and a half by five and a half. So it's a square journal. It has this really pretty graphic 45 paper. And this was left over from the Alice in Wonderland journal that I did um, earlier this week. And then I coffee dyed and sprayed glimmer misted this half a doily that I stitched on here and then I continued this scallop stitching all the way around with a uh, green and orange uh, thread and this was in Happy Meal. I want to say this was for my friend Sherry. I'm not sure uh, which company um, or Etsy shop actually did this since it was a gift but um, I inked the edges and sewed around this beautiful peacock and added that. So this is pretty much a naked journal um, except I did some stenciling and there's some really pretty papers in here. I did, did stenciling, so you can add a lot of stuff. I know you said you were new to junk journals, so this is a great one to add your ephemera, add your stuff, do your thing to. I just kind of gave you one to start with. So we have some pages from Calico Collage and scrapbook paper. This is from the old design shop. It's from an old magazine on fashion. Um, I gave you some really cool papers to you. My four-year-old was um, painting with distress oxides and instead of throwing them out I decided to keep them and use them this is the wilted violet I believe so beautiful uh, painting he did there and so I added that in um, this is from my digital kit country piece and he also painted this one with the distress oxides so I added that in there as well this I hand colored all of this with uh, gel pens and colored pencils and it's like this purple peacock and flowers so that was added in here more stenciling so here's the other side of that really pretty and then we have the other side of all of these papers again this is from my kit and this is from the old design shop and this is from Calico Collage. So since you're new, those are all places you would want to check out. Would be my Etsy store, Calico Collage, Old Design Shop. They will all have amazing um, downloads for your journals. So this one I think is my favorite. I love how it came out. And then I did a couple different sizes. Here's a cute little mini that says Love Conquers All and it has really pretty foiled paper. This one has a slight autumn theme. Since this is November, I added some lace to the edges. And there's wallpaper and coffee dyed paper and um, just a variety. Here's more of my son painting with the oxides. I guess I added that in this journal as well. This one just has a couple of light embellishments to it. There's still plenty you can add in here. Minis are great for when you're starting out. That says imagination. And then this is a cute little... Um, it's not really a junk journal as much as it's a, like a little junk notepad, but this really pretty like jungle fern paper, it says the best of times. It's inked with uh, Distress Oxide Ross Rusty Hinge and these coffee dyed papers are sewn in. You can put your name or date. This is great for shopping lists or to throw in your purse. Um, and then of course you can add this into another junk journal. It would even, you know, it would fit really cute in a little bigger junk journal or you could throw it in your purse. <clears throat> I made you a little mini tassel to go with this uh, nautical themed one. This is a wallpaper cover and then this anchor piece uh, with uh, like rope, uh, burlap or jute or whatever that is, knotted. And then I made this little uh, tassel that is removable. You could add it onto another journal or keep it on here. And again, just lightly, lightly embellished. There's a little fish brad, um, some stamping, explore your world. There's a sandcastle and a whale. Some scrapbook paper, it says on our way, and there's some sunglasses. So this is kind of a beachy nautical theme, relax. So that's these are just an idea of what you get in a one of my junk journal grab bags. I'm using up my scraps and creating things. Here's another one, and it has a tag on the front, and then with these metal letters, it says days. And then here's a vellum cloud tag and some washi and a brad and one of my little mini paper ribbons stamping 
all sorts of little fun things in here. Little tiny pocket with a tiny tag. So um, if you like surprises and you never know what you're going to get, then um, order one of my surprise grab bags. It's $50 worth of product for uh, $40, and you're going to get all sorts of who knows what. So this is your set, Debbie, and I hope you enjoy it, and it'll be on its way to you.